We're previewing the 2014 Kansas Jayhawks, a program that has only 26 winning seasons since 1936. We're going to break it all down. What do you need to know to be an expert? Oh, you're a clever one. If you're going to have an offensive genius as the head coach, you've got to be able to get some offense out of him, especially in the Big 12. You've got to be able to keep up in shootouts, and this is the year where Charlie Weiss has to start putting it all together. Last year, they scored 31 in the opener against South Dakota. They scored 31 in the win over West Virginia, and they failed to score 20 points or more in any of the other 10 games. That can't work. Their defense is going to be okay, but not good enough. The offense has got to start shining under Weiss. Now for the key player, we're going to Doug Chapman. Charlie Weiss is an offensive genius, but he hasn't had a quarterback like my surprise player, Montel Kozar. A dual threat guy can run it as good as he passes it, beat out Jake Heaps to spring for the starting position. Now on defense, they get the entire defense back, but the same defense that let people score 37 points per game. So offensively, they have got to come out, score points. Let's see how smart Weiss really is. Back to you, Pete. Let's look ahead at the schedule. Step one has got to be to figure out that quarterback situation. They have never been able to settle it under Charlie Weiss, and that's been a big problem. They're going to have to be prepared for more shootouts. They have to go to Duke, which for most teams would not be that bad, but for Kansas, that's a big task for them. And in Big 12 play, they're going to be one of those teams that every team looks at and says that's a sure thing win. They do get Iowa State at home. That might be their best chance at a victory. Otherwise, it's going to take a lot of upsets to come up with a decent season. So for the pick, Doug Chapman is taking Kansas to go. Choose wisely. My pick is three and nine. Weiss is an offensive genius, but I'm not sure if he can get things together with this dual threat quarterback to get things cracking earlier. They've got to go to Duke week two. Then you look down the road at West Virginia, at Texas Tech, at Baylor, and at Oklahoma. Who wants to go to Oklahoma and Baylor towards the end of the year? I know I wouldn't. Kansas surely doesn't. That's probably about right. They're probably going to come up with one upset or two. Every year, Kansas does something weird, like beat West Virginia last year. Now, I think they could get the three wins, but that's not a guarantee. It's going to be a tough season for them. We're previewing all the Big 12 teams here on Campus Insiders.